it is the same SOLIDWORKS functionality you know and love, just an add-in to the task pane on the right side where you can actually manage your data, not just store it on the cloud, but also manage who has access to it, when it was last saved, check things in and out by reserving files so you don't have two people making changes and overwriting each other's work. All right, so to open up this file in SOLIDWORKS, I've got a couple of files bookmarked here, and I'm just gonna drag and drop it into this window. Now it'll take a few seconds for it to open because it's basically downloading a local copy that I will then work on and push those changes back up to the cloud. So you can kind of think of this as similar to PDM, if we have PDM users out there in the audience. All right, so here we have our SOLIDWORKS assembly. Here we can see that none of these files are reserved by anyone else. So I am going to reserve the top level assembly so that I can make some changes to it. All right, that little key lets me know that that is now mine to work on. We've got the old handle design still in here. Our new battery pack does not fit, so that was why we were making our new handle in the first place. I'll go ahead and just hide that component for now. And we're gonna make a new SOLIDWORKS part for our X-shape design. So I can do that actually just by searching in my task pane. So I'll go ahead and search for my new handle concept. And then I will open that up just by dragging it up to the top bar to open it in its new window. All right, let's go ahead and insert this into a new part. And again, that's gonna be our SOLIDWORKS part. We'll save this here in our 3D experience local area. This will be called our new finished handle. and then we'll just make sure that gets placed on the origin. We can take this component and insert it back into our carving knife full assembly and see how that fits in. All right. So again, now that this is in SOLIDWORKS, I can make SOLIDWORKS changes to it with the same functionality, like I said, that you would know and love. Here, I'll just sketch a hole I wanna make an opening for the knife and then I wanna hollow it out. So here on our top plane, we'll just sketch a little rectangular sketch. I'm not gonna to be too specific with my dimensions, but somewhere like so. And then we'll head over to our extruded cut. All right, make sure we cut in the other direction just in case there's any overlap. And then we will shell this out. All right, we can take a quick section view to see how that fits with the rest of our assembly from this direction. I'm pretty happy with that. So I'm going to go ahead and save this design back up to the cloud and then David will be able to use it to release these final versions of the file. So if I head back over here to the PLM add-in, I can uh, just right click on the locally modified file, save it up to the cloud, and that's gonna save the uh, altered version of our carving knife, as well as the brand new finished handle component. And all of this is live save time. So you can see it takes maybe five, 10 seconds to save an entire assembly, but remember it's all happening up on the cloud. So all that management is taken care of. Now that this save has been complete, I will unreserve it. That way, if anyone else needs to make changes to it, they'll be able to.